Alright then, so I am Mr. Drill Happy, and this is a new Let's Play of a totally different game. One you might not even be expecting. Uh, I did put a video up as to why I'm not continuing the Bioshock Let's Play for the moment, but I thought I'd play something a bit more uh, that I could get through quickly because it is a game for children. Anyway, so this is not Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. This is Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, which is its correct title, I'll have you know. Anyway, uh, let me just check my options here. Yes, it's all okay. And let's get into the start of this game. Oh, select a game. I'm going to pick There new. was nothing about the starry sky that night to suggest that strange and mysterious things would soon be happening. As unsuspecting muggles slept, a huge motorbike with a giant astride it tumbled down from the darkness. The giant, named Hagrid, left a blanket wrapped bundle on the doorstep of number four, Privet Drive. Nestled in the bundle was a baby. Harry Potter, the boy who lived. For the next 11 years, Harry lived with his dreadful step-parents, the Dursleys. Until that fateful day, when he received the letter inviting him to attend Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Hagrid took Harry to Diagon Alley to purchase a most unusual list of school supplies. While at Gringotts Wizard Bank, Hagrid collected a scruffy package from Vault 713 mentioning to Harry that the package, whatever it was, would be safer at Hogwarts. Soon after, Harry caught the Hogwarts Express from Platform 9 and 3 quarters and left the Muggle world far behind. Dumbledore stood up. In this term, the corridor on the third floor is out of bounds to everyone who does not wish to suffer a most painful death. Harry sat beneath a sorting hat, hoping that he would not be chosen for Slytherin House over Gryffindor. Not Slytherin, eh? said the hat in his ear. You could be great. It's all here in your head, and Slytherin will help you on your way to greatness. No? Well, if you're sure, better be... Gryffindor! Right, so if you know the story of Harry Potter, that will probably bored you silly. But this is the beginning of the game. Uh, I'm not sure if this came out before the films did. But, or whether it's in line with the books, I can't remember. But. I didn't play this when I was younger. I, the first no, Harry Potter game I played was Chamber of Secrets time. on the so Game Boy Advance. So, keep in mind but I think I've played it at some point at some friend's story. house or something randomly. Anyway, so Dumbledore's just telling us. I think this is from the book, if I remember. But look at Dumbledore's glasses. Well, like sunglasses with oh, eyes actually on the glasses rather than through them. <laughs> anyway, so he's telling us to get to the Defense Against the Dark Arts class, and oh, you have to move with the arrow keys. Hang on, can I change that? Can I walk with proper controls? Yes, I can. I'd much rather jump with space and use that for. Sorry about that. That's better. Hey Harry, remember me, Ron Weasley, my brother's friend. Yeah, you're the ginger kid from the train. And I love how that intro to the game showed absolutely no idea who Ron Weasley is. So why are you supposed to follow trust me, him Harry. and follow him? I already am following you. Be quiet. Uh, up here. 
That's threatened George Weasley and they're going to show me something. I can show you how to get around Hogwarts. As a first year, you have a lot to learn. Follow us for a secret lesson. I'll this just sounds so wrong. The dark arts class. Good luck, Harry. I want to say this was done before the films came out. Because I remember, I remember like, um, like merchandise for Harry Potter was, was in this Run sort of art case, style before the stop. films were out. You'll climb up. Above the bookcase is a Bertie Botts Every Flavor Bean. Collect all the beans and every flavor bean. meet us in the next room. Yes, even, even bogey flavored. Ha ha ha. I just sound so perverted when he uh, climbs up things, but there you go. Climb up the bookcase. Collecting these beans. Beans, beans, beans. Ooh. A patchwork. Patchwork is the name for that kind of thing? Yeah, patchwork bean. Well done. Now, let's try jumping. Run to the ledge. Then press the jump button to jump across. If you yes, because that seems perfectly you can safe. Back up and start over. Meet us in the yeah, next or we'll take you the could shortcut die. And meet you there. Well, can't I take the shortcut? I want to take the shortcut. Why should I get to take the shortcut? I don't oh, like them. That's yes, it's got to be before the films because Peeves isn't in any of the films. Peeves doesn't like first years, so watch your step. No, he'll just he'll just go perv on Money Myrtle in the bathroom. Oh, sorry, spoilers. Lol. <laughs> if you haven't read the Harry Potter books or, or watched any of the films by now, then you should probably be shot. Because where the hell have you been? <laughs> anyway, let's carry on jumping across these bookcases and I'm... Vshht. Go away! That was me. You're a ghost. Why would bumping into you make me lose health? You'll get in the hang of this. In Hogwarts, it's not really that difficult, mate. Wicked treats. To pick up a treat, wicked. just run over to it. Chocolate fogs boost your energy. Bertie bots every flavour beans are fun to collect. We're collecting them too. Oh, when it'd be pretty fun to eat them too. Come back when you've got them all. Come see us, and we'll show you the way to class. But you're just going to steal my beans. How dare you steal my beans? There be a shiny frog. I am taking said shiny frog. Shiny frog, you are mine. I don't know why I'm saying shiny, you're a chocolate. And you have restored my health, thank you, Mr. Frog. Boing. Boing. I don't need to jump over that side. Ah, oh, I love playing childish games where they pose absolutely no challenge to my gameplay. Ah. Uh, might be 23, and I believe there's a few here. What the hell? <laughs> Glitch much? Trick shot, ladder shot. <laughs> uh. He's done it again. You can't climb up walls. You can moonwalk though. Ha ha ha. Anyway, I think that's all the beans in here. I can't see any more beans. Beans, there's a ghost, but no beans. No beans. Let's go talk to them. Thanks, Harry. We couldn't have done it without you. We need the beans for some <coughs> experiments. No, you just want to eat them. Lies. No, I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want a piece of card. Like Pokemon cards, much cooler. Climb through the secret exit above the bookcases to get to your first spell lesson. Good luck! So basically, you made me go on this big trail just because you could be bothered to pick up some jelly beans off the off the floor and probably have hair on them anyway. Over dramatic. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> Note to self, he just jumps up them anyway, regardless as to whether you press a button or not. Uh Well, well, well. If it isn't the famous Harry Potter. I'm Draco Malfoy. And you sound and like an eight year old. 
and you look like a midget. And some of your voices changed. Are you really? You obviously haven't read this book either. No, I'm okay. Alright, off you go. I'm gonna guess this is Hermione Granger now. Hello, Harry. It's me, Hermione Granger. We met on the Hogwarts Express, remember? Defense against the dark arts is In a few years, I'm gonna be the only reason anyone watches these films. <laughs> I am P Professor Quirrell. T Today we'll learn how to p protect ourselves against the dark magic with the flipendo spell. Flip, 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 flip. Watch my wand, then hold down the mouse button. No, I don't want to watch your wand. The flip a button. The button when you're down. I think I can do this. Can I do it? <laughs> what shape was that, Mr. Potter? You I'll make another shape for you if you want. Mr. Potter. Keep trying. Do I actually have to follow? Oh dear, I may. Well, I failed. That's I better not even have to do this Mr. again. Potter. You can do this, Mr. Potter. Keep trying. Third time lucky. Oh, for Christ's sake! That's not the Don't shake your I head at me, Mr. Potter. Yes, it is. You Be quiet. Can do this, Mr. Potter. Yes, stop Keep stuttering, trying. bitch. How? I was still drawing. Why are you being so mean to me? Oh, for Christ's sake. Rather disappointing. B but at least you tried. I did try. And do this, Mr. Potter. <sighs> Don't make me hurt you. Maybe this time, oh crap, I missed it, didn't I? He's not gonna like that. Oh. Finally. Well done. But I think you can improve. Oh, shut up. Five points for Gryffindor. Five? Try working faster this time, Mr. Potter. This is supposed to be a child's game. I play first person shooters. He's going to tell me I've not passed now. There we go, 83%. Get well raped. Done, Mr. Potter. Ten points for Gryffindor. Go on, Mr. Potter. T -t -try I don't again. want to try again. Oh, for Christ's sake. The house with the most points at the end of the year wins the house cup. Well, that would make sense. Points for Gryffindor. T -t -t Try mm. working faster. No, time, oh, fuck. Potter. How many times? I'm gonna fail, 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 I'm gonna fail. Oh. A respectable effort, but, but not quite correct. I've done it about five times. Oh, I don't care. You're just mean. Splendid! You may now enter the Flipendo Challenge to practice the spell. 
Follow me, Mr. Potter. I don't sure I want to follow you, Stutter Stutterpants. Why are you taking me alone? Why is no one else coming? <laughs> 